Hey, I've got a confession to make. I am not a big fan of Lamentations. I kind of try to avoid it because it's a real downer. I mean, it's full of laments. It is full of basically really sad songs. And it's, it's kind of depressing. I even, here's another confession, and I'm not proud of this, I even had to look in the index in order to even find it in my Bible this morning. I didn't know where it was. That, that's how much I have avoided it over the years. And I, it's depressing stuff. Jerusalem has been destroyed by Babylon. Everything's been destroyed. And there it, just so much despair. It's, it's dark. It is a downer. And I kind of like the happy parts of the Bible. I like the happy promises, the light and fluffy things that just kind of, okay, God's going to take care of everything. And everything's going to be just a cakewalk. I like those, although there aren't too many of those, okay? Because the Bible's honest. That, that's the cool thing about the fact that Lamentations is in the Bible. It tells us a lot. It tells us that God is not afraid of our questions. He's not afraid of our doubt. There is a place for grief. There is a place for doubt. A lot of times... We're waiting for answers, and that's part of following Jesus. God wants us to live honest. He doesn't want us to put on this happy face and not really mean it on the inside. He wants us to be honest. He wants us to be, be real. He wants us to bring him both our joy and our pain. So there are happy verses, but there are verses like what we find in Lamentations, too, that are just gut-wrenching, honest stuff. And, and it gives us answers, too, in the midst of the pain. And in Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 3 verses 19 through 26 it says this the thought of my suffering and homelessness is bitter beyond words I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss yet I still dare to hope when I remember this the faithful love of the Lord never ceases never ends his mercies never cease Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh every morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. So it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. His, his mercies are new every morning. You had a real crappy day? Go to bed and wake up the next morning and realize that his mercy is new. It's a new day, okay? And, and we, we all go through things. God's anger and his correction won't last forever, okay? The tough times that you're going through right now won't last forever. The, the attack that you're under right now won't last forever. God's faithfulness will last forever. So learn to wait. Sometimes life is a slow burn, and, and we don't like that. We like it to be instant. Sometimes there aren't any instant answers. Sometimes there's not an instant solution. We like instant things. We like like instant coffee, instant oatmeal. If we have a headache, we want to take a painkiller and want it to go away right away. We want to instantly deal with the pain. But a lot of times, life, real life, isn't like that. And we have to wait. We, we learn to wait. And in the midst of grief, there is good to be found. The Lord is good to those who depend on him. To those who say, he is my inheritance. He's got all I need. He is my portion. I have no other. And it's enough. So, so learn to wait. No matter what you're going through right now, your life might be real good. And you might be going through a real hard time. But in the midst of this, realize things change. Seasons change. Here's what doesn't change. The faithful love of the Lord. His mercies are new every morning. God bless you guys. Giddy up.